Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to finally hook up our air purifier to our fiber laser. So let's get to it. So for today we're going to be utilizing an air purifier from Momport and we're going to be using it for two different lasers. Yeah, so we've already shown this air purifier in the past that we have currently connected to our CO2 laser from Momport. Today, since we've installed our shield around our fiber laser, we need to find a way to evacuate the smoke and stuff that comes off of our laser engravings. So we're gonna utilize a vacuum hose to connect to our current air purifier, but there's some modifications that we're gonna to have to make. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is create a custom elbow that we're gonna end up actually designing and 3D printing, and we're gonna get some vacuum hose to connect to that and kind of splice into our air purifier so that we can use it for both machines. So we picked up this shop vac tubing from our big box store and we're gonna use it to make an exhaust system for our fiber laser. But the problem is we have our fiber laser really close to the wall and there's not a lot of room to make the bend necessary around that wall. So what we need to do is make a 3D printed elbow so that we can make that sharp turn in that limited amount of space so this is the part we need to model in Fusion 360. So we're gonna take some measurements of this because you can see how this works is it will kind of catch the tubing here and lock it in place. So here's a piece we printed out after our modeling, just a simple 90 degree angle. And ideally we would have been able to print this in a single piece, but we had to do it in two halves because the way 3D printing works is you have to have kind of a flat side. And unfortunately my skills with Fusion 360 is not that great in order to make like a flat side of this to stick to the table and then make a perfectly round thing. So rather than printing this all as one piece, I just split it in half and then we'll hot glue this and tape this together, which will be somewhat permanent anyway. So let's hot glue this together. So it's stuck pretty well together right now. I think we have a good airtight seal around it with that hot glue, but we're going to put some electrical tape around this just for extra assurance. Now we're gonna integrate this Y and some shutoff valves. So we've gotta figure out how we want to route this. I'll be able to use this dryer ducting, which will make it a little bit easier. But I do need to cut some of this off so I can connect this to this, because this won't stand up in here. And I need to do kind of an angle. So I'm going to integrate these shutoff valves into this so that we can shut off the vacuum to one of the lasers at a time. So I got to figure out how I want this mounted.
Okay, so we're all set up now. What we have here is kind of a shop vac attachment that will kind of collect smoke and dust going to our new tube, to our 90 degree angle that we just made right here. And then this tube flows down, down to the bottom right here, and it flows into our Y attachment. And right now the gate is open for that and it exits down to our air purifier. And then our air purifier exhaust goes back out the same hole right here and then we'll be vented out the window when we use it. So now we can use this air purifier for both our CO2. We'll just need to close this gate and open this gate which will allow the air purifier to pull air from our CO2 laser. Ready to test it out? So we completed the project, we got our one air purifier to work with two lasers, but we do have a few lessons learned. Yep, so first I wish I was a little bit more technically proficient to be able to design something more organic in Fusion 360 to be able to print our elbow in one piece. But since I'm not, we adapted and just kind of printed it in halves and glued it together. I will say that we kind of have professional looking results. It does look nice. It does fit the space, which is kind of where we needed it to be. All in all, I'm going to say it's a success. So obviously we could have purchased this elbow from somewhere. We were having a hard time finding an elbow like this at our big box store. So we just decided to make it. And I think that's one of the cool things about 3D printing, being able to customize things to your, to your needs. And I kind of like it. So we're going to go with it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.